Hello folks, and welcome back to Shogun Total War. I'm Step, and this is going to be part 10 of my Mongol Invasion campaign, where I'm playing as the Mongols. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I believe I'm at the end of my turn here. I think I'd already moved everything, and I just wasn't sure if I had enough time to play these battles. As it turns out, after the editing, I, I probably could have fit these in, so sorry about the shorter episode uh, in part 9. And yeah, so I believe I'm attacking Suruga, Echigo, Sado, because I need money. I'm not getting any troops, and I need money just to build border watchtowers. Do I have any? No. Yeah, so I think, like, this is my line. My last line of border watchtowers is here at Isa, Omi, and Wakasa. And then anything past that, I haven't built anything, so... I got some uh, border fort here in Mino, but that was left over from the Hojo clan. So, I yeah, I need money. So, I'm going to, yeah, there's nothing else to do. It's time for me to end this turn. Let's do that and get into these battles. Public order is looking okay. Uh, there's a lot of green, except for the, there's some yellow in Kyushu, but it's, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, let's see, I'm outnumbered by 100 soldiers here in Tsuruga. 387 versus 480. I mean, I don't know. It's. I think it should be fine. I have a three-star general. I'm going up against a one-star general, and I have some decent soldiers. I have, I have some heavy cav, some light cav, some bombers if I need it, and then one unit of guardsmen, and then one unit of six spearmen, so that really doesn't count. Um, yeah, very light on the infantry, but hopefully my cavalry can carry the day here. Well, it's winter time. I got light snow, and that shouldn't affect things too much. The enemy is squared up to me right across, and usually when I'm playing as a Japanese force, I will go through the woods here on this hill on the left. But playing as the Mongols, depending on cavalry, I might just go right at them, honestly. Because I don't really have a whole lot in the infantry that I can use to take that forest and hold that forest. Um... So yeah, I might just do that, and that's going to be one force, and then I have this force, which is really, really pathetic. It's just, um, it's just my six spearmen, and then my two units of thunder bombers. And yeah, I wonder if the Hojo actually might be aggressive in this battle, just because they might think they have a chance against me. I can't see what these, okay, I got crossbowmen, 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 crossbowmen. Yari Samurai, so two, so archers and Yari Samurai. So nothing too crazy it looks like, so let me just get my guys formed up and ready to go here. One thing I could do right here is do a lot of damage against these infantry units with my bombers here on my my small little group here. My, I have my decent guardsmen are here in this unit, but yeah, I got spearmen and then these two units of thunder bombers, and yeah, they, if they could uh, they could take out these groups over here, that would do a lot of work for me. Other than that, is there any other like Yari spearmen? It's just archers, I think. So I think I just have to get rid of this one unit of uh, spearmen, and that might be it. And that's yeah, they're down to 33 men. Now I just have to send in my guardsmen to finish them off. Gotta get my bombers back here, get them out of the way. And yeah, the spearmen are already running away. Now I just need to get Cav running into archers. And this should be a, a fairly short battle. Because is there anything else that can stop my Cav? I do not think so. So it's time to run them down, guys. And that is a sight to behold. I do not think very many of these of the Japanese forces are going to make it home. Most of them should get cut down here as long as my cab does not stop running. Keep going, guys. And yeah, I think that's going to about wrap this up. And that'll do. I did... I lost 30 men. How did I lose 30 men? Did I hit my own guys with the bombs, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe I actually did take 30 casualties from archers in that short period of time. In any case, I killed 459, and I'll take it. How did my, how'd my bombers do? Killed 43 men. And I lost five, so that's not, not bad for one volley. Got rid of uh, most of that unit of Yari Samurai. 
So Supergirl Province is now mine. And we're going into Echigo. I do outnumber them there, which is... In, oh, this Echigo. Yeah, I was thinking of Sado. I was going to be outnumbered. Echigo, a zero-star general on the Hojo side. I got a three-star general on my side. So let's get this river battle over with. We're actually looking at a decent little uh, defense force from the Hojo clan here. Three units of Yari Samurai. Unit of Naginata is the general. Uh, then a Nashigaru and two crosswomen. So I won't have to face too much in the way of ranged fire. I mean, the crosswomen will pack a punch and they will do some damage even against my shielded Korean skirmishers. But it's going to be a matter of burning through all of their all of their meat. And, you know, I mean, I got my cav archers. I have three units of them. The question is, I do have bombers. I don't know if I can really use bombers using my normal tactics of bridge baiting because their range is too low. And same with my skirmishers as well. I mean, their javelins don't reach across the river. They can't throw them that far. So I don't know if I'll really be able to use my bombers or skirmishers unless maybe what I do is I just I can kind of sacrifice the unit. I could maybe bring over a unit of bombers and they can get one toss in. Uh, you know, before they basically get run down by a unit of uh, Yari Samurai. That is an idea, and that could work. Um, I guess we can see how my archers do, and kind of go from there. I don't think they'll be able to take out three units of Yari Samurai, not to mention the Naginata, though. But maybe if I can get rid of a few of these spearmen, if I'm still left with... If I like my chances, maybe I will do that. Maybe I'll send off my bombers and try to use them just to kind of take off maybe the general unit, for example. They could be really good at getting rid of that unit of heavily armored Naginata. Now that I'm out of arrows, I think it's time for me to try that second idea of mine, which was see if I can use some Thunder Bombers here. I'm going to try to rush them across the bridge and see who comes forward. See if it's this group of Naginata. I have taken off... It's a unit and a half, basically. There's 15 uh, men left in this Yari Samurai group, and then 30 men left in this Yari Samurai group. So my archers did do some damage, but yes, this is the guy. This is the one that I want. So if I can get a bomb toss in on him, that would be great. So I'm going to get my guys formed up right here on the side of the bridge, and I want him to come forward. And as soon as this... I'm going to see if I can get this bomb toss in, and then run them away as soon as they throw it. Gosh, the range is so short. Okay, now run, run away, run away, run away. And how did that do? How did that do? I, I killed a lot. That killed almost half of that unit. So um, I obviously have to run away for now, but I think I could just do that again because I have more bombs. I don't know how many bombs Thunder Bombers carry, but... Once they retreat, what I can do is come back and do that again, because I think that worked out pretty well. Did I lose any men? I did lose three men, but that may have been to uh, archers. I think crossbowmen might have had something to do with that. Time for round two here. Let's get another toss in, see if we can... Uh, man, I feel like these Naginata are charging a little bit faster this time. Man, I'm not going to get a toss in. Man, why? What? Why? Why did you guys just... No, <laughs> no, come on. It didn't work this time. Oh, they're just going to get cut down by Naginata. No, please run away. All right, in any case, what I was thinking is if I can't do it that way, I do have the force of arms to simply force my way over this bridge anyway. It won't be pretty, but they don't have their, their range attacks. Because their crosswomen fire on a flat plane and they don't arch their fire, over the heads of the soldiers in front of them, they don't do a lot of damage when they're right behind their own units. In fact, a lot of times they will shoot their own units in the back. So I think that if I'm basically just pitting my guardsmen up against their Naginata and their Yari Samurai, I should win in a slugging match. However, I just did remember the case where I uh, fought a siege battle with guardsmen where they got cut down pretty goddamn hard by some Yari Samurai or Yari Cav. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm going to send in everyone. I'm going to send in my, you know, my heavy Cav and everyone here because yeah, like I said, I think force of arms should do the trick here. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I know it won't be pretty, but 
You know, I, I got I got the guys here. I may as well use them. And it looks like the rest of the army does not seem too intent on fighting me here. It's just the general, the poor general, got left behind to fight to fight me at the mouth of this uh, bridge. Either that, or he's bravely uh, telling the men to go on without him as he tries to defend, which is quite interesting. This is a zero star general, so. It's very, uh, very honorable of him to try to def save his men like that. And yeah, they weren't even bothered. I mean, they have a solid, you know, unit and a half of, of uh, Yuri Samurai here, and they did not care for it. They were like, nah, we're, we're good. We're not going to defend this uh, river here. So that's going to be it for this battle. Maybe I can get some more Ashigaru crossbowmen here. That would be a nice little grab for me. Or actually, are they just def they just pulled back to defend this hill? Huh, that's interesting. Okay, well, in that case, I will take my cav back and I'll send my infantry in forward first. Nope, go back, go back. I don't want to fight you. Yeah, I'll send in my infantry first. I can't tell if they're running away. Yeah, I feel like I, feel like I just have to attack. If they're running away, let's get them. And that'll do. I lost 56 and I killed 322. How'd my Thunder Bombers do? I killed 24 and it's a shame, but I lost 25. Man, they were just like bugging out on me. They went and throw their bombs. I think they forgot that they were uh, they were bombers. They tried to attack the Naginata in melee. All right, uh, move. Ooh, holy crap, man. They had some buildings in Echigo. I just pillaged 2,000, over 2,000 Koku. So that's good. And now I am fighting in Sato. Uh, yes, I'm outnumbered by a bit, but I, I liked... I, I, didn't, I really didn't think that they had good units. So I, I think that I like my chances in this one. I'm fighting up against the Daimyo of the Hojo clan. I do have a two-star general myself, and he is a three-star. So I'm, I'm a little outmatched when it comes to my generals, but hopefully the quality of my troops will carry the day for me. As we're getting ready to form up here, it looks like they're maneuvering and repositioning right off the bat. Might be looking for some higher ground off to the uh, off to the left there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play this a little cautiously. I like the open ground. It's uh, looking like it's good terrain. As long as we kind of stay out here, it should be good terrain for my cav to fight in. Uh, a lot of times when the AI kind of backs off like this immediately, they might just be running away. Um, but in any case, I'm still going to kind of play this cautiously. Maybe instead of following up here, maybe what I should do instead is come up this way to kind of get on even ground with them instead of, you know, going right into the teeth of their formation. I'm liking the looks of this potential engagement a lot better because I might actually get a, a slight downhill charge on them. I have to be very careful with my infantry. As always, I have been very outclassed in this case. I do have my guardsmen with my thunder bombers in this group, and then this other group is my, is actually my general, my 13-man unit of spearmen with some more thunder bombers. So, got to make sure that he is safe. And then, other than that, you know, I got three units of light cav and two units of heavy cav. So, not a uh, yeah, not not too strong of an army. This might actually be a you know maybe maybe it's a decent fight. Don't want to speak too soon here because a lot of a lot of cases the Hojo clan has been running away from a lot of engagements, but you know, this is the daimyo and This is uh, they do outnumbered me. So maybe we'll get an engagement here a lot of archers the entire front line is archers some crosswomen some Samurai archers in fact most of them are crosswomen Two units of Yari Samurai a unit of Yari cab, which is dangerous to me as always and then of course the daimyo is in the back so I'm thinking what I want to do is try to delay engagement on this side and come over this way and kind of uh, go for a, a strong push on the left side and just kind of delay on on, uh, on my right flank. Kind of kind of push back like here. And yeah, as always, it is tempting to attack quickly with my cav because, you know, I could run down. I could run down a lot of these archers, but it's also very hard for me to disengage Cav in this game, which if you've been watching this channel, you've seen plenty of instances of me uh, thinking I can get a quick cheeky charge in and then being unable to disengage 
and, and then losing that entire unit. Now, my Mongols have pretty good morale, so it's typically not going to happen where I lose my entire units like that. But still, it's a, it's a situation where maybe, ah, shoot, you know, having said that, see, they're already running away. And I think I wanna, what I want to do is just keep slow pushing here on this flank. Because I do want to use, see, they're running away. Okay, so now Yuri Cav is coming over. And I want to send my heavy cav into their yari cav, and I want to bring my light cav back a little bit. Maybe get my bombs out of there too. Maybe my general can throw back as well. And they're all running away, and I don't quite want to chase them down simply because those are spearmen, and the spearmen are not running away yet. The cav, yeah, yari cav ran away right away. The general is still there, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna still push up a little bit slowly until. Those spearmen break and yeah they're they're rushing me actually those spearmen they want to fight so let's bring my light cab into here and maybe i can get a position yeah so the daimyo is going into the battle here Ooh, i don't want to oops i don't want to throw yeah so I, I did throw some bombs which is good but let's see all right let's see if i can run down this daimyo here he's right there you might get away you might not we'll see and i'm gonna charge with the rest of my cab as well. I wasn't able to get the daimyo, but I got a decent amount of kills on that route. I killed 324 and I lost 42, so that's okay. Bombers, yeah, bombers actually killed 37 men, so not bad considering I wasn't really paying attention to them. It's always a little bit scary when the bombs go off and I wasn't watching to make sure that they bombed the right target. I did pillage 895 koku, so that is not bad. I wonder if the... Yeah, so there's a Loyalist Revolt in Tatomi. That's fine. I got soldiers nearby that I can deal with that. And... Oops. Oh, no. I did not... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't mean to press the button. I meant, I meant to press Shift so I could check the population loyalty. Yes, so I lost Tatomi Province because I didn't deal with stuff. Oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, Noto. And... Uh, yeah, looking at four seasons before this siege falls in Sado, or four turns. And same here, four turns in Suruga. Okay, yeah, that's annoying. This is the button I meant to press, and then I press enter, and I ended the turn instead. I wish the buttons weren't right next to each other. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, all right, so first things first. I want to see is the, di no, the daimyo got away. So the daimyo is here in Dewa, he did lose a star, so now he's down to two stars. There's not a lot of Japan left, but you know, because I was not able to react to the population loyalty in the last turn that I skipped, I have to go back and fight these battles, which is really super annoying, uh, especially because like the sizes of the armies actually look kind of decent. So, because yeah, like this army probably like they could probably attack my army here in Sado and I like if I get teamed up with the remnants of this army here from Dewa and then the garrison sallies out along with whatever's here in Noto I could lose everything that's here in Sado just like that because of a, a little button error a button mistake and Totomi there's not much here in Totomi um yeah two cav archers one samurai archer one yara sam uh, it's just gonna be a matter of what's he, what is here there's only five men in in this castle so I'm just going to finish that right away in the siege yes and what about here in this castle 38 men they're crosswomen so I'm just gonna finish this siege right away and I don't think I'll be able to deal with Echu and Noto yet I need to get more soldiers in the area until like maybe maybe not this turn but maybe next turn because I can bring you know these guys up I can bring hmm I can bring yeah them up to Hida and Wari Wari's at 107 but that should be fine I can team up these armies can team up and fight this army here in Totomi and I can bring up more groups of soldiers from central Japan. Kyushu? How's Kyushu looking? I mean, 
It's all like in the 112s, 117s, so that's fine. This is all green, so that's looking good. I got it, you know, good, good little forest coming in, in from Inaba. And uh, yeah, I think I just, once these uh, soldiers come in from central Japan, I should be able to clean up this little mess that I caused here in these territories, and then I can move on from there. I do have a little bit of money to play with, so I will build a border watchtower here in Awari and Echizen, but that's it. I'm not going to go too crazy with it. I already have that border fort in uh, Mino, and I think I had a border fort somewhere else, maybe. No, yeah, yeah, I had one in Noto, but that doesn't matter anymore. All right, I'm just going to end the turn. I can't, I'm not going to do anything right now. Just, you know, I'm going to attack these two castles to finish those sieges, and... Then will I be able to do anything next turn? I might. I might be able to handle this rebellion here in Echu with this army that I have here in Hida with maybe like a reinforcement from Echigo or Shinano. So yeah, I should be able to handle this here in Echu. And what about, what about this? I don't have any cav in Kaga, so I will have to wait for the turn after before I deal with Noto. Because I do have some calf here in Edges and that can come help out. And then Totomi, yeah, I think that's going to be next turn as well. So let's get on with it. End the turn. Yes, I did lose Noto. I did lose Echu. Castle Assault. Going to auto-resolve this one. Lost two men. And... Castle Assault, these are just uh, uh, crosswomen units garrisoning these castles, so not a big deal. Auto Resolve, lost 10 men, all right, okay. And then I did achieve third rank with this general, Irunduk. Good job, man. And, all right. So, am I ready to attack these provinces? What do I got? What do I got? Um... Just, just to, like, simplify it, I could just, you know, bring in this full army. Yes, they could retake Saruga, but that's that's fine, honestly. As long as I keep them in front of me, that's fine. So I can just do that, just to, you know, make sure I win the battle. And then here in Echu, I guess I could... You know, again, just to, like, simplify things, I can just go here and then bring all these guys... Go to Echu, or yeah, go to Echu, and then, you know, cover my bases by going to Kaga here, and maybe even, I'll bring him to Hida, that's fine, and yeah, just keep moving forward with the rest of my armies in the back, it's all, all looking good here, it's all looking fine, I'd say, except for Kyushu, but Kyushu's, Kyushu's good enough, Kyushu's fine, I'm gonna try to stop worrying about Kyushu for now, <laughs> and uh, just move my guys forward here. Why not? You, you too. And yeah, that's going to be... Do I want to do anything with this army in Echigo? I mean, I, I could. I, I could. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I hang tight for now. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to hang tight because hanging tight does, of course, give my provinces time to you know, get used to their new masters and it gives time for population loyalty issues to subside. So yes, I will just, it's, it's tempting because yeah, I could just like really blitz out the entire Hojo clan right now, but I have to remind myself that even though I'm this close to victory, it, you know, having to put out fires, if having to put out all these rebellions over and over again, will will get really annoying if I don't, you know, take, uh, take care of things. So one step at a time here, just going to focus on this battle here in Echu and then Totomi and then move on from there. Border Watchtowers finished in Echizen and Awari. And they did retake Suruga, that's fine. And Totomi. So I got 550 of my guys versus 240 of theirs. This is such an absurd army. I'm fighting with six units of Thunder Bombers, so. Hopefully I do not destroy any of my old men. Let's see, what? Uh, what was it again? Unit of archers, un two units of cav archers, something like that. This is why I picked fighting in the rain. 
Because if I'm going to go up against three units of archers, they're not going to do a whole lot to me in a driving rainstorm like this. So it can be a little bit fun, a little bit atmospheric sometimes to play in a rainstorm. I love the lightning effects in this in this uh, game. It's super, super cool. Something that uh, doesn't happen often enough. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. And yeah, I don't, they might just retreat because I don't think they really stand a chance against me. Hopefully they don't make it too hard for me to run them down here. I just decided to send my he units of heavy cav into the, uh, let's see, it says the Ari Samurai are winning, which, you know, they should, but let's see. Can I, can I withstand these losses? I don't know. I'm not, I'm just, just want to get this fight over with, kind of, <laughs> to be honest. Now they're sending their cav archers into this fight, so maybe it's time for me to get the rest of my cav engaged here. Yeah, they're putting my they're giving a pretty good fight here for my heavy cav, so I'm gonna have to send in the rest of my cav. And it looks like my two units of heavy cav were able to drive off the enemy just by themselves. My infantry did not even have to get involved. So yeah, definitely took a few casualties, but overall, Mongol Heavy Cav does reign supreme. So, just have to chase off this unit of Cav Archers here, and that's going to be that. They have nowhere to run away from, or run away to, so I don't have to catch all of this army. I just have to defeat them and drive them from the, fiel from the field of battle, and that's going to be it for them. That's going to be it. Bye-bye, Rebels. So, that's done for. Yeah, I did lose 48, which, you know, it's, it's a bit, but... That's okay. So I pillaged another, another 310 Koku, and they did retreat from Echu, which is interesting. I don't think... Oh, yeah, they can go back to Noto. All right, so, so they retreated to Noto, and then, yeah, lost Suruga. That's fine. Uh, Kogadai is now a fourth rank. Good job, man. All right, so this is looking uh, a little bit better here. Everything back here is... Okay... 107, ooh, 102, that's a little scary. 107, yeah, it's a little, yeah, it's, that's a little scary there. And, yeah, Shikoku is still fine. And, yeah, that's, that's, that's good enough. How about this garrison here, 44 men. It's gonna last more than a year. Uh, I guess I should get rid of them, but... Ah, man. If they... I don't think... I, I think I may have killed... It should just be Cav Archers. I don't think there should be any Yari Samurai in that castle. If I'm just fighting against Cav Archers, that should be an easy battle. So I will take care of that. I can bring up some reinforcements here. Etchu, yeah, they all ran away to Noto. And what are we looking at? Ooh, no Dachi Samurai. Okay, well, that's something. Two, three units of Yari Samurai, two units of Ashigaru, and five units of uh, archers. So that's not nothing. But I think with the combined forces of... Yeah, this actually isn't a great... I don't have great infantry here, actually. I do have two units of Korean Guardsmen, though, so that's fine. Two units of Bombers. Send them here into Nota with some reserves from Kaga. That'll clean that up. And then this force can link up with these guys here in Sado, and they can attack into Dewa through there. And yeah, I think that's that's gonna be pretty good for that force. So what I'm thinking is, hmm, I can send these guys in etches in just to help with population loyalty and send all these guys into Shinano because. Yeah, pretty soon I'm ready to like just kind of explode into northern Japan here. I'm almost ready to do that. So I just have to move up the rest of my forces from central Japan. All right, that's going to do for this turn. I'm not going to build anything. I'm just going to send back that money to the Great Khan and hopefully I can get some reinforcements coming in pretty soon. Not that I, you know, really need them right now. I think I'm doing pretty well, but still, I will take the reinforcements because it helps with my population loyalty. In fact, if I get any more reinforcements at this point that land in Kyushu, I might just use them for this, helping with the population loyalty, because by the time they reach 
uh, northern Japan, they might not be able to really help out much. So, yeah, I, I think that's what I would do if if I get them if if they land there in Kyushu. So anyway, moving on. All right, castle assault. I'm just gonna auto resolve this. Uh, I only lost five men, so that's nice. And yes, for the fight in Noto, they have decent numbers. This is going to be a decent fight here. I have my 814 versus their 660. I do have a three-star general versus their zero-star, though, so that is an advantage that I have. I'm seeing the enemy on this hill here, and I think that the plan of attack is pretty simple enough. Just come around this left side here, and I should have an equal footing with them, if not a slight downhill advantage so I'm just gonna take my time and form up that way decent amount of archers they do have that Nodachi Samurai unit a couple units of spearmen yeah it's not an army to mess around with but I'm not seeing any cab so I should be able to use my mobility in my uh, for my advantage and wrap around them and take advantage of their flanks and rear First things first, I'm going to pounce on this unit of Yari Samurai, or <laughs> Samurai Archers, try to get rid of them right away. Uh, right off the bat, no immediately close units of melee troops, so maybe I can get a cheeky little route on these archers right away. The Nodachi Samurai still have not moved, the Spearmen still have not moved, so maybe if I can get a quick wrap up on these archers, that can take them out of play. But I do, I do not want to lose. So now the Nodachi Samurai is moving. So it's time for me to get my units back here. So let's hopefully I can, hopefully I can disengage. Please disengage. And yes, disengage. There we go. There we go. Heavy cav. Go, 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 go. Please, please, please. Please move faster. And yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> I was able to get away that time. I am losing some cav to archer fire, but that's okay. In any case, I have gotten myself in a decent little position here. I want to come forward a little bit more with my infantry to make sure that I can use them once this engagement happens. Now the Hojo force is starting to reposition a little bit here, so I want to make sure... Now this is a little bit dicey getting um, my spearmen to form up against their Nodachi Samurai because they can definitely do a lot of damage against me. But I got bombs on this side, so maybe my bombs can do the trick. And I can move forward with my center. My center is the strong side. And if they're gonna push hard on their, um, on their, on this side here, then I wanna push hard on my right side. So I can try, are they, what are they doing? What are they doing? Are they just going after my, I like, have, if they are, then I will just shoot at them with my arrows and I can throw bombs in here. Can I not use bombs in the snow? Oh no, I'm in trouble. I might be in trouble. <laughs> oh no. Um, hmm. Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna send in my guardsmen on this side to flank the Nodachi swordsmen. And how are we doing over here? So yeah, I need my cav to come over on this side to help out. And these are my reserves. I got some reserves, reserve spearmen that I can send over here. And I can actually send my cav into a rear charge here. And I can send my heavy cav into a charge here. Oops. And more reserve spearmen to the front. I can send my general forward to give those combat buffs. And yes, charge down all of these archers. And I can send my infantry to help engage on this flank here and actually hmm maybe I sent no I want all of my cav going after their archers and yeah I'm getting a route here Ooh, that sucks yeah so I'm getting a route here which is unfortunate my infantry was too slow to catch up on this side and I'm getting fully routed whoa 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 how the hell did this happen man okay well that's interesting I wonder if it's too late for me to turn things around. Because I'm still I still have my general in the fight here. And huh. Yeah, my my spearmen are being too slow to catch up. And on this side, let's see, my camp is crushing their archers, of course. 
Let's see, I got Spearman attacking their Ashigaru and winning. If I could get some guys to rally, that'd be great because I feel like there's still have a fight here. Um, hmm. Yeah, man, these, these Spearmen are fighting hard. They're fighting very, very hard. If I can get these cav units to come down here and run down these archers, and if I could get these heavy cav to come down and help out against these spearmen, that would be great. If I can get these spearmen to help out and kind of hold off these spearmen, just just to hold them off, just so that my, ooh, maybe if I can get a flank attack here and get my light cav to chase down the archers, and there we go. Now I can have my heavy cav charge into the rear of this spearman group, and we can team up and beat them. And if we can team up and beat them, then we can come in and clean up this general unit, because I still have, yes, there we go. Now I have units that are rallying here, so now we can start bringing them back. Okay, now he's running away, there we go, okay. Now the general's running away, and that should be the end of the fight there, but geez, oh, Pete, man, that was a little weird. <laughs> don't know, don't know why that, I mean, I did have a lot of spearmen, I did have a lot of crappy soldiers, but man, you know, I have, a, I have a decent general, and it's a good thing he kept fighting, because he was the only reason why I still had soldiers fighting there. Okay, oof, alright. Lost quite a few soldiers there. That was not expected. Not expected at all. But in any case, let's see. Still got some archers left up here, so maybe we can run down them before... Actually, I don't think we have to, because... This army is surrounded on all sides. There is no friendly territories for them to retreat to. So this army should be finished. Yeah, let's see how many guys I lost. 442. Oh, God, that's a lot. Man, that's a lot. Hmm. Yeah, Thunder Bombers. Yeah, really, I thought, I didn't, I kind of forgot that I couldn't use my bombs in the snow. So that kind of threw my plan for a loop there. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that was kind of crappy. That was kind of crappy. So I got 200 Koku. Got another, what? God dang it. Oh, fuck. All right, so I got to go back to Etchu and deal with that. And yeah, still having issues. 92%, 92%, 97%. Okay, so I got to go deal with this. I'm probably going to just use this army here. Uh, how many turns? So a year. There's eight men left, so I'm gonna take care of this siege here and end it there, and... Hmm... Okay, so what I can do... Mino's gonna be fine. I can... Yeah, why is it 102%? So I don't really want to move them right now. Um... Yeah, I do want to keep moving them forward. And let's see, 117, 117. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep them in the area. And Shikoku's okay, I suppose. Oh, shit. Dang. Assuming he's at 97%. I might have to, I might have to send, start sending, like, units back. Yeah. Just to kind of see if I can help out here. I want Cav going forward. I have these three units of spearmen. I think they're all spearmen. And I can have them kind of go back to Kyushu and maybe help out. Hopefully that will work. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Um, hmm. All right, so I do want to send a unit back to Mikawa to help out with population loyalty. And same here. Um, I'll send two units to Hida and... This army will help out in Kaga there, and then I'll have to deal with this rebellion at Nechu again. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take care of this siege in Noto, and... I'll get ready to... Hmm. Yeah, I think I, I want more reinforcements, that's the thing. It'd be really nice if they popped up in Kyushu, because that then I could... I really do think that everything that I have here is enough to take out the rest of... Northern Japan potentially. I mean that's a that's a decent little stack actually in Mutsu But in any case, I'm not going to build any more water watchtowers I'm going to hold with what I have for now and just keep dealing with the rebellions. I suppose
All right, Castle Assault, get this over with. Auto Resolve, lost two men, so that's fine. I did lose Echu again. All right, so where are we at? This is looking, that's looking okay. And Osumi is still at 97%. So yeah, I'm gonna have to bring this guy back to Kyushu and I will keep this guy here in Shikoku and let's see how we're doing. 112, 117. I suppose it's all okay. Yeah, it's all okay. It's it's fine. It's fine enough. It's just gonna be a matter of yeah, now I have to fight in Echu. I don't have a general here, but I can use one of these generals. That's that's fine. So I'll send this army from Kaga and I will send over who is this man? Who is he? Kotai. Send him over to Echu and... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm ready to attack Suruga again. So I'll go there and... Hmm, should I keep them in Mikawa? 117%. Maybe I should. Just try to hang out in Kaga for another turn. And... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'll take Suruga and I'll take Echu back. And once I have Echu and Suruga, I think I'll be pretty much like ready to go for... Here, I can send these guys over to Sado. They might have to go right back to Noto, but... Hmm. Actually, yeah, I will keep back a unit of... Spears. Just to try to help out in Noto, and... Yeah, after I take back Echu and Suruga, I should be poised for this big multi-pronged attack. I can basically attack, what, like, Dewa, Mutsu, Kazuke, Musashi, Kai, and Izu all in the same turn? Yeah. Yeah, that would be a lot. <laughs> that, would, that would be a lot. Um, if I can hold it now, that's going to be a question. That's a different question, but I will at least be able to attack all those provinces and get rid of them in one turn. All right, got my reinforcements. In Hoki, Inaba, and that's it. Just Hoki and Inaba. So, looks like... The Hojo clan is actually attacking. They're actually uh, reinforcing Surugas. So that's interesting. Um, looks like I'm got three or six, uh, six thirteen against three sixty here in Etu. So let's get into it and get it over with. Coming into this battle here usually involves fighting for this first ridge that uh, you start the battle right behind. And yeah, I think uh, what do they have? It looks like they do have some Nodachi swordsmen. So that's a uh, it's a little frightening, and I wonder wonder where they're going off to. Oftentimes when the enemy is like moving really fast like that, they're like looks like they're in a hurry to get somewhere, and I wonder wonder where is it's odd behavior from the AI. Like where where are they Like are they running away? Or are they going to this forest for some reason? I don't know. Hmm. Or are they just gonna form up here? Okay, so that looks like they might just form up at the ridge, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm just gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing what I know I need to do, <laughs> because yeah, it looks like right at this point they might want to retreat, which would make sense because I outnumber them by quite a bit. All right, now they decided to turn around at the top of the ridge and make a stand here, and that is smart. That is what I'd expect them to do. I mean, if they were being intelligent. And at this point, I think. Let's see, Nodachi coming at me that way, so I want to come back with my spears a little bit here and maybe try to get my bombs into them here. Then I get some cav away. How are we doing on this side? Let's see, Ashigaru attacking my heavy cav. Not a good fight for me, but if I can get my light cav into the rear of those Ashigaru, I should do some damage to them. And yes, the Nodachi, let's see, where are my bombers? I feel like I have bombers somewhere here, and... Okay, so I want my guardsmen to help out my spearmen here against the Nodachi. 
so we could win that fight. And then if bomb, if anyone wants to attack me up this hill, I could throw bombs down at them there. Looks like that's not going to be the case. It looks like, well, actually, yeah, those Yari Samurai might might uh, might need an arrow or two to convince them to run away. Looks like the enemy might be making a stand here at the edge of the map, but I wonder how long it's going to last. They just have Ashigaru, Yari Samurai, Samurai Archers, so I will do some good damage to these Ashigaru with my Archers here. And in fact, I could probably even turn around and charge them with my Heavy Cav at this point. And yeah, I got Samurai Archers, Cav Archers, so I can bring up my center here and bring over my right flank of Cav just to circle around them. And at this point, I mean, I got the numbers, so I may as well just surround them and finish this fight. Yeah, charging my calf head on here in the center, just to finish him off here. I got Spearman coming down on this side, so I might back off just a little bit here and try to intercept with my guardsmen. I'll bring my general up a little bit here, and I can just surround this calf here, and Ashigaru are going to run away. Yeah, I can keep running away with my heavy calf, and I can shoot with my archers, and I can try to bring my guardsmen and to intercept these Yari Samurai and I can have my Heavy Cav run down those Ashigaru and now we just have to break this unit of Yari Samurai and that's gonna be the battle alright not bad I did lose 94 men but you know I killed 354 so I'll take it Alright, so Echu has been conquered again, got some more money, and now it's time to fight in Suruga. So they did reinforce and they do outnumber me, but I'm not seeing any generals on their side, and I do have a four-star general. So I'd say this is in my favor. Yeah, they do outnumber me by a little bit, though. So all of that means to me is this is an opportunity to kill more bad guys. This is going to be another awkward army of mine, uh, very little in the way of classical uh, melee troops, but I do have six units of Thunder Bombers, so, hmm, <laughs> I think that, I think in this case, I, I do actually want to maybe take the hill and fight downward through the forest, um, just marching head on into all of these arrow f arrows, um, might not be the best idea, they do have three units of Yara Samurai, four units actually, so, I'm not seeing any Cav, but yeah, I might want to take this hill and come on down through there. So here's where I'm at. This is a little bit weird, but my left and right flanks are pretty much made up entirely of just bombers backed up by cavalry to the rear as a reserve. And that's both flanks. My center is where I have my meager units, 43 guardsmen, 55 skirmishers, and what? I have like some spearmen somewhere. Three, yeah, three spearmen somewhere. Yeah, they're there. There's my three spearmen. And then my general unit, and that's it. So, how do I want to go about this? Um, now, I might be able to get a grab here. So, if I send my cav units on this side to do a quick route on those crosswomen that could work and I could also send my general to take out these crosswomen and I could send my cav on this side to take out these crosswomen it's risky but you know that might work out there because the supporting units are quite a ways away actually so I want to make sure that I get away before the spearmen come any closer I'm going to take fire from those Ashigaru to the uh, to the rear, so that's not ideal, but, you know, that's okay, so let me get my general back, and, yeah, let me get these guys back as well. So I just got took care of uh, three units right off the bat without much trouble, because those spearmen, yeah, the spearmen are just way too far away in that case. Even I can get away from, from that, and I never get away. I always get caught. So... 
it's hmm, it is would have been nice to kind of draw those spearmen into my bombs, but I think maybe I can do that on this side. Yeah, maybe if I can get these bombers. I don't think bombs in the forest are the greatest idea, but if I can kind of draw oh, now they're retreating, so now I'm not sure what to do about that. Yeah, the fact is there's four. Wait, was there another spearman somewhere? I thought there was another spearman somewhere. I'm seeing three. I thought there was a fourth one. But yeah, that is uh, that's more melee power that I do than I have in the infantry. So I'm gonna have to be have to be careful here. Yeah, it would be nice to draw him forward. Hmm. We'll see. I'm gonna have to play this one slowly and carefully. Looks like they are retreating a little bit here. I can't tell if they're trying to bait me into a full-on attack or, yeah, this is where it gets tricky because, yeah, a lot of the units are retreating, but they might just be baiting me off of my hill. So it's hard to know in situations like this whether it's time for me to push forward, but, you know, I am the attacker, so I will have to push forward eventually, so I may as well, may as well just go for it. And this might be an opportunity for me to pick up another uh, kill. So let me get another, yeah, I can grab another unit of uh, crossmen and take them out. And at this point, they aren't bringing any spearmen forward quite yet. So if they want to send two more units to the slaughter against my cav, that's fine with me. So I'm just going to keep, yeah, I'm just going to send them into the next unit. You know, there's more uh, more crossbowmen you can get rid of. Because yeah, if they want to just keep sending crossbowmen into my guys, then I'll be able to just shoot at their four four Yari samurai until they're all gone. Yeah, this is uh this is gonna make it easier for me. Now they've retreated all the way back into the corner of the map here, and they're not in a great position to be in. Because now they're kind of in this little gully here, and all I'm thinking of is if I can just start throwing bombs at them in this position, uh, this entire army could disappear very, very quickly. So, I'm, uh, I'm really tempted to try to make that work here. Now I have this set up for something that's either going to be, like, awesomely, epically awesome or epically stupid and dumb. So, <laughs> well, this is like the one time where, I, where I'm like, man, yeah, six Thunder Bombers is exactly what I could use right now. We will see if that works out for me. <laughs> because I don't know if I really want to throw uphill here. That could be uh, that could be bad. What I want to do is throw downhill here. So like these guys here and here, those bombs would be great. Um, oh God. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so I think that unit is just about taken care of. Um, maybe start throwing bombs here. <laughs> Jesus, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the that. Their range, yeah, their range is a lot- Oh, I'm already out of bombs with that unit. Oh, they just blew themselves up. Oh my god. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah, throwing uphill is not a great idea. Not a- not a great idea here. But it's it's still doing some damage for sure. Let's see. Are they gonna push forward at all, or are they just gonna take these they take the shelling? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, get him! The the, the, the general's dead. Now we just have to throw bombs at this unit. Oh my god! Oh, holy crap! Okay, that's that was that was that. Okay, that was awesome. Um, let's just run, run down here and see if we can kill the rest of these guys. That was, that was worth it. I, that was worth, maybe this entire campaign was worth it for that moment. That was pretty freaking awesome. All right, these are numbers that I definitely want to see. Thunder Bombers, how'd we do? This unit killed 58. This unit killed zero. This unit killed 17. This unit killed 52, 75, 18. Holy smokes. Damn, those guys did work. Nice, that was fun. And yeah, so I did take Suruga again. Another, god damn, oh fuck. 
Another loyalist sort of vaulted to Tomi. God damn it, that's so annoying. All right, so I have to go back there, deal with that again. Um, and yeah, I guess I should just take care of this siege and end it there. And yeah, I guess I gotta go back and deal with this another uh, fucking siege or battle here in Totomi before I can move forward again. Which is really annoying because it doesn't, like it just pops up immediately, you know? Like I just left Totomi to fight this battle in Saruga. And I didn't even get a chance to see, like, you know, bad public order. It was green when I left, and then there's a rebellion, so... Yeah, that's getting to be super, super annoying. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Um... So, once that's figured out, I will be able to make this multi-pronged attack on one, two, three, four, five, six provinces all at once. And that will be really nice. Um, I think for now I do want to keep sending, yeah, it's 97%, uh, I do want to keep sending money back to the Great Khan, I think that, I don't know, should I just spend it on border watchtowers? I do have enough soldiers, I think, but at the same time, having soldiers to deal with population loyalty issues always seems to work better in this campaign than the border watchtowers themselves, so, yeah, I guess I'll just keep sending money back. And then in the next episode, I will be getting very, very close to finishing this campaign. But it might be, I don't know, it might be another two episodes. We'll see. But in any case, if you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I've been Kind of Step, and this has been Shogun Total War. Thank you very much, and goodbye.